Now of course it says in the manual how where to or how to add a plugin, but okay, I'll show you. Go down here to plugins, edit plugins, or you press Alt F11. And here you get this one, and you say add plugins. And uh, for example, I can add this one. And this would say one plugin added, but right now it doesn't because I already added it. So okay, I say done, so it's added. And what this plugin does is that it um, rotates the speed of this object depending on where this position of the null is. So now the first thing that will probably confuse you is okay where do I f find this plugin or does it even have a, an interface? Um, so one place to look is here but this is not a deformer but if it was a deformer you would look here um, if it was a processing uh, filter or pixel filter image filter then you will look here or here but it's not if it was a volumetrics then you would look here but it's not so this is a motion modifier so it's located under motion options so you press M to get this up and you will see that you have a list here and right here we got that script rotor control now the control or this null is named control and that's why yeah and 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 that is this object now is controlled by that well null control and it's set to the y axis plus minus throttle uh, full throttle rotation and in which axis should it rotate and uh, yeah that's well that's it that's how it works and that's how you can uh, adjust it so but again sometimes plugins do not have an interface and uh, sometimes you will have to just add a button for for the plugin and you do that by searching up or searching the plugin and uh, the plugin is called well super plug and then you say OK, and it will find that plugin somewhere listed. So say it's located here. So we'll highlight that, and then you can drag that over to one of these menus, probably this one. Uh, for example, load. And it will just drag that plugin over here. And if you click here now, you'll see that this plugin is right here. So of course, I'm not going to do that. So I'll just say uh, delete, but that's how you can do it. And pretty much the same goes for adding a shortcut for your plugin. Um, search the super plug, and let's pretend that it's located here, and then you will do exactly the same thing. We'll just drag that uh, to whatever shortcut you want to use. So, yeah, a bit on plugins. Uh, this might have not been complete, but hopefully, you understand a bit about adding plugins.